Hi, my name is Kylie Worry, author, speaker, and trainer. My passion is teaching people how to communicate authentically and effectively in any situation. Have you ever experienced what it's like when people speak without thinking? I'll bet you have. We all have. Today, I'll share a few personal examples and some tips about how to not let it get you down. After all, it really isn't worth it. People rarely mean it how it comes out. Last year after going through chemo, my hair grew back with a curl. I was excited to have hair, but I'd always wanted curls. I had people telling me often how great I was looking. I often thought, of course they'll say that. Who wants to say to the lady with cancer, you look awful? I went along to a usual weekly appointment and I just had my hair cut to the point where the curls were gone. I was sad, but still thankful to have hair. The lady at reception who always greeted me said, oh, you finally got the crap cut off. My heart sank. Then I thought, this lady's always been really direct and in her mind, she thought it was a compliment. I thought any hair was great after having none. Also last year, I went through a style makeover to see what suited me after my many surgeries for breast cancer. I was filmed sharing the wardrobe makeover with what I wore before and then after the style advice. My breakthrough came when I realised that I'd been covering up with heaps of patterns and loose fitting clothing. I was always trying to hide myself. But I realised I was in fact drawing more attention to myself and not using any of my assets, so to speak. Sharing my journey from covering up after a double mistectomy and someone from the audience says, oh, no more frumpy housewife. Again, a very direct woman trying to give me a compliment. Then someone thanked me after sharing my journey, telling me that it impacted them. I shared openly with her that much of this journey for me has been learning that I'm enough. Something I've been allowing myself to feel, I'm enough. She ends the conversation with, oh by the way, I offer free weight loss consults if you're interested, so perhaps I am too much after all. This was someone who felt the need to help without asking for permission from me. This was a powerful lesson. Most people don't want you to help unless they give you permission. The same goes for feedback. Don't give it unless it's invited. Many of us have really good intentions when we speak up and offer our opinion. However, it takes a really mature, grounded and wise person to hold back and not speak up even if you think you have the answer. Unless someone is openly asking for your input, it's best not to offer it. If people want you to add your two cents worth, they'll ask. Advice given without being asked for it is not a gift, far from it. In fact, it can hurt really deeply. So if you ever experience this, try this to help. Take a breath and let that emotion go. If it was a painful thing that was said, just let it wash off you like water off a duck's back. You and only you can allow something to hurt you. Next, look to their communication DNA. They are probably just trying to help. Some people are painfully honest and they just don't think. Don't allow your own worries and insecurities to feed on the comment. For example, when the woman told me about her weight loss clinic, it fed into every fear, worry and inadequacy I'd ever had. And that wasn't from her, that was me talking, even if it was in my head. You are a wonderful and unique individual and you have complete control over your own reactions and responses. You have the power. Be kind to the person, laugh it off and let it go. It really isn't that important. And just pray that if you ever do the same thing, which is very possible, that they've read this too and can forgive your faux pas. One of the biggest gifts you can give another person is to see them and appreciate them for who they are, warts and all. If you'd like to know more about how to learn what your communication DNA is, then head to kyliewarrior.com forward slash work with me. You can also get in touch via our website and Facebook, so please do. Until next time, care, connect, and be a conscious communicator. Let's change the world we live in one conversation at a time.